Today I'm going to show you how to solve an issue with the Zebra uh, 2844 series of printers uh, where if you're trying to print uh, Amazon FBA labels, they come out all uh, dithery and pixelated. Um, very much unacceptable by Amazon. And you can kind of tell that it's kind of like a, a dithering uh, graphic issue. Almost like back in the day when we had dot matrix printers, um, they would print out graphics like that. And even the text looks dithered. Um, that's completely unacceptable. And it took me a while to find the answer to this and I figured it out. Uh, basically, it's a problem with the Z Designer printer drivers and the way this FBA label printing sends the images to uh, the device driver. So what we're gonna do is download a different set of drivers. These are going to be the Siegel drivers, uh, Bartender by Siegel Scientific. And uh, there is the link right there. I'll put a link down in the video description as well. Um, but uh, you're looking for the Zebra LP2844 printer drivers. And you can install them at the same time as your Z Designer drivers and use them both simultaneously. Uh, once you download them, go ahead and install them. Pretty straightforward install. And then uh, once we get that done, now what we're going to do is uh, let's go ahead and print a label. And we'll set up our defaults in the uh, printer dialog. So click uh, print using system dialog here. We're going to find our new printer driver and it's called Zebra UPS 2844. We're going to click preferences. And here you want to go to page setup first. And you want to go to um, stock, and you want to set up a couple of uh, custom stocks. I use 2.25 by 1.25 inch uh, labels. That's the same size Amazon uses it in their uh, in their warehouses. I know because I worked in an Amazon warehouse uh, for one Christmas season. Uh, go ahead and set up uh, two different custom stocks: one for your shipping labels and one for your FBA labels. And then you can always select them in your printer dialog. Graphics, you're going to turn dithering to none. Stock, you're going to leave default. And then options for darkness, go ahead and uh, uncheck that box there and set darkness to 15. And for speed, set it as slow as you can tolerate. The slower it goes, the clearer and better your labels are going to be. And since the 2844 is kind of an older series, um, you kind of have to be stuck with that slower speed there. Um, that's all you need to do here. And uh, once you have that done, you can go ahead and uh, click print and it'll actually print that label out for me. And uh, actually I confused it. Uh, it's trying to print it in portrait mode there. I forgot to set the stock. So let's do this uh, again, but this time we're going to use the system dialog. Since I already have my, my default set, uh, we can come up here and change the printer to uh, the new one. Zebra UPS 2844, like so. And then, uh, let's get this to focus on there. What you're gonna do is come down here to more settings and you want to select your paper size. This is my custom FBA set paper size. And you're gonna turn margins to none. That's very important. See, as soon as I did that, it instantly fixed the label right there. So select your paper stock and then set margins to none. And you're good to go. You can just uh, print that as many times as you want. And it'll print straight out. And it'll be nice and clear. Get that to focus. See that? Nice and clear. That's definitely a scannable label and perfectly acceptable. So if you're having issues where your labels are looking grainy and fuzzy, anything like these here, yeah, come on, focus. Anything like that, uh, go ahead and follow this procedure and you will be good to go. So make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button and uh, stay tuned for more great videos.